Hi DIY mummies, Christina from the DIYmummy.com here and today I want to chat with you about choosing a web host for your blog and about setting up WordPress. So today I want to continue the series Your DIY Blog by talking about setting up a host for your blog and hooking up WordPress, which is my favorite blogging platform, to start your blog. Let's get started. All right, so I'm going to show you how to uh, set up your own hosting account for your blog and also how to install WordPress, my preferred um, blogging platform onto your hosting account. I'm going to uh, record my screen here, so hopefully that helps you follow along. Now a host is uh, essentially what stores your blog or your website's data or information. So you do need a host um, that you will pay monthly to store the data that you have on your blog. Now you can pay for something as low as say around four dollars and then um, the price per month can increase. Um, as your traffic increases. I recommend using HostGator as a host. I've used them for several years. I've been really happy with their service and um, I've just kind of upgraded my account as I went along as my blog got bigger. I'll leave a link to my affiliate link for HostGator if you want to sign up uh, for yourself um, below this video and also on my blog post. Now all you need to do is go to hostgator.com or you can use my affiliate link at press get started now or look at their web hosting and you can get uh, one of their smaller packages just to ensure that you uh, can indeed install WordPress onto the package. Once you've purchased your hosting, they'll send you an email that gives you directions on how to hook up your domain name, which is, we covered that in the previous video here, to your new hosting account so that when you type in your domain name, it'll lead you to your new hosting account. So um, in my case I have a GoDaddy um, account here. So I'm just going to go to my GoDaddy account. That's where I purchased my domain name is through GoDaddy. And then all you need to do is log in to your GoDaddy account and then you should be able to access your domain name um, management and then you'll need to change what's called the name servers. Now HostGator will send you some um, name server information. So here I am back at GoDaddy. I'm going to access my domain name. So DIYMommy.com, I'm going to manage. And then here's where you're going to enter your new name servers that are going to point to your new hosting account. So the DIY mommy, we'll just go to that .ca, set name servers. And then you should get a little pop-up. So you'll press custom and then you'll enter your new name servers that will point to your new hosting account. Now this usually takes about 48 hours to get set up and then once you're uh, domain name points to your hosting account, you are ready to install WordPress. So now um, in GoDaddy they um, have a backend called cPanel which I find really user friendly. If you have a different uh, host you might have something different. I'll just show you what how to install WordPress on a GoDaddy hosting account through cPanel. So they'll send you some login credentials to go into your cPanel backend. Once you log in, you go down to the bottom, click on site software, and then here you'll see WordPress. Now I, you need to install WordPress like this. Um, it's developed by WordPress.org. Uh, this is a WordPress insta insta installation, pardon me. Um, that I would recommend rather than going to wordpress.com and doing it that way. That doesn't have as many options as wordpress.org and the installation that you can install right to your hosting account. So all you need to do is click on that, enter your username, password, email address, and make sure that you're installing it right onto your root of your domain. So in my case, it's the DIYMommy.com slash nothing because I'm installing it right onto my domain name your name and your description, which you can change later, and then install, and it's ready to go. 
and it's as easy as that to install WordPress onto your hosting account. Then what you'll do is uh, to go into the back end of your newly installed WordPress is you go to, I'll just change that, you go to your domain name slash wp-admin and then that will get you to what's called your WordPress dashboard and it's going to look something like this once it's loaded here. And this is where you can start customizing the look of your WordPress blog. This is where you can enter your data and all your information. And uh, in the next video, I will talk about how to start doing that, how to start picking out a theme, how to start entering your posts and everything like that. So it's not loading for some reason. So it'll look something like this. You'll see all of the options on the left hand side here. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this helpful. Stay tuned for next week's video on how to start customizing your WordPress installation. For more tutorials, please visit the DIYMommy.com and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.